we'll guide you through how to move photos from your iPhone to an external hard drive or SSD. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to identify what port your external disk has. So as you can see here, mine's got the traditional USB-A. Now, if you've got a USB-C for your hard drive or SSD, then that may be able to directly connect to your iPhone. I'll cover how to work out what port your iPhone has now. It's most likely your disk and phone are gonna have different connectors and ports, and so you need to use an adapter, and I'll cover that in just a moment. But to work out what adapter you need, you need to know what port your iPhone has iPhone 15s and above have USB-C and the connector looks like this. So if you charge your iPhone with a cable which looks like this, you've got a USB-C connector on your iPhone or port. And if you've got an older iPhone like iPhone 14 or older, then you probably charge your iPhone with a cable which looks like this and this is a lightning cable. So now you know you've got the difference between USB-C and Lightning, we now need to work out what adapter you're going to need. I charge my iPhone with a USB-C cable, so therefore I'm gonna need a USB-C adapter to USB-A because that is what my hard drive is. So this is the adapter I use here. As you can see, we've got a USB-C to USB-A. I'm going to put some adapter links to Amazon in the description down below. So let's go and plug it in. So I'll go and plug the adapter into my iPhone here, and then I'll plug my hard drive or external disk into it here. When you go and connect your external disk to your iPhone, you may go and get a pop-up saying something about it drawing too much power. And this means that your iPhone can't go and power your hard drive I didn't get that, as you can see, I didn't get a pop-up, but if you do, you'll need to go and use a different hard drive. So once you've gone and connected it, as you can see, mine's now lighting up blue, which is a good sign. You now need to select the photos which you want to go and move. So click on select in the top right and then select what you want to move. So you can do videos and photos. After you've got them selected, then click on the share button in the bottom left. Then you need to scroll down like this until you see the option for save to files. Click there like so, and then your files will go and open up. And what you need to do is click on the back button in the top left to get back to the main browse page like this. You may need to click it multiple times. And in locations, your hard drive or external disk should pop up there. As you can see, mine's called Seagate, but the icon should be like a disk icon. So go and click on your drive like this, and you can then choose where you want to go and save it. It may take a moment for it to load. And yeah, I can choose where I want to go and save it. So I'll just go and save mine um, in just the general hard drive here, and I'll go and press on save like so, and then it will start the saving process. The time that it takes will vary depending upon the size of the photos and videos you're saving and transferring to it. You successfully move photos and videos from your iPhone to your hard drive. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.